Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this GIMP tutorial I want to show you how you can snap to the grid in order to make it so that when you're trying to select a certain area of your document, or in this case a square of your document, that you will always have it um, basically hit the right lines so that you get it pixel perfect. So the two tools you're going to need up here are Show Grid and Snap to Grid. I think you can actually snap to grid without having the grid visible, but having show grid enabled will allow you to see it. Um, so right here I have my grid set to a fairly visible dashed line. Probably would be better if it was more like a black color. And it's set to 32 pixels by 32 pixels, because in this bright sheet that is the format I'm going for. Um, now how did I get the grid like that? Well. If we go up to Edit Preferences, and then we look for Default Grid, you'll see the spacing, the height, the foreground color, and the background color. Uh, now, I believe that these preferences apply to all of your documents, so if you don't actually want to change it for everything, uh, you can back out of there. And instead, you can go to Image Configure Grid, where you will get more or less the same tools, but specific to this document. So for foreground color, if we want to change that, we can make it um, something like that, foreground and background color. Now, uh, most of these line styles actually only use the foreground color, so take note of that. I think uh, Double Dashed is the only one that uses the background color. But in any case, set the, uh, the spacing of your width and height to what you want the grid to be at. Hit OK. And now, if you have Show Grid and Snap to Grid enabled, we can zoom out a little bit and you'll see it's pretty easy to actually select that um, uh, select the document based on those squares. So this is 32 pixel, uh, 2 by 2, so that's 64 pixels by 64 pixels. And I can do the same thing at 96 by 96 pixels, just by dragging and dropping. And yeah, that's basically how Snap to Grid works and how to set it up. So just remember, uh, as soon as you don't need the grid anymore, you can uncheck Show Grid. And if you want Snap to Grid to be disabled, just go back into the View menu and turn off Snap to Grid. So that's going to be it for this GIMP tutorial on how to use Snap to Grid in order to get pixel-perfect selection inside of GIMP. I've been Chris. If you want to support the channel, down below are Patreon links. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my future videos.